Buckaroo, are you ready? Wow. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. You ready? Come on. Come on. Yeah. It is today. Crows are out. Squawking. All right, sweetie, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, love bug. Oh, I see. I see. All right. If you must. <laughs> Happy puppy. <laughs> Come on, my sweet. Let's go. A little one. Come on. There you go. Oh, he likes to be the leader of the pack, Miles. Had some wind the other day, so we've got a bit of a mess. It's metal roofing it just went flying everywhere. It's stuff's pretty heavy. It's amazing how far it went. How's the barn doing? Hey, tiny barn. There's a fox living under there. I'll try to get some video of her. Hopefully it's a mama fox. Like, and then we have baby foxes. Which would be kind of sweet. Anyway, this is our, well, you know, typical path to the outhouse. Miles and I used to, and Peanut, used to escort me every morning and every evening when we were living here. It's kind of sweet. What's Miles doing? Sniffing. We have wolves around so he gets lots of sniffs of the wolves. It's our little home. Just sitting there on the hill. That barn will be sided soon. It'll be wood. And hopefully one day it'll kind of look like a tiny barn. Well, just a little bit more. Come on, sniffers. Let's go. Check things out out here. nice. Even though it's like very bright. Let's have to wear sunglasses. Oh, we got little paws. 
little paw prints. I don't know if I'll be able to catch these. Looks like fox prints, maybe? It's gotta be fox. She's around. <laughs> Outhouse is looking good. This way. It's kind of one of our favorite routes. It's against the sun here, but go check out the Apache. Miles and I have often done this stroll in the winter. It's so pretty in the winter. But the wolves often cross here. I'm always a little watchful when we're in this area because they've got their pups now. So it's not mating season. Well, it was just mating season, so I guess they wouldn't have their puppies yet. But they're around. So I always keep an eye out. Miles is usually a pretty good indicator of trouble on the horizon. The more he sniffs, the more <laughs> the more recent the activity. What do you got there, buggy? There's also skunks and porcupines around too, so. Hoping to get that tiny barn spruced up this year sometime so we can maybe start renting it. We'll see. Miles, lots of sniffs, buddy. It's his favorite. His favorite thing to do is to sniff. Come on, baby. Let's go. Huh. Let's check on the Apache, see what's going on. Any tracks? Oh, here we go. There's some tracks. Bunny tracks. They say the big feet are actually the front because when they jump, their front paws go behind their big feet as they're jumping. So that's, they're actually going in the direction of the Apache, which is kind of cool. Oh, Miles, you smell the bunny? Oh, there's lots of bunny tracks. Oh yeah. Ha. There they are, going into the woods. So sweet. Could probably use some cleanup in here. It's a lot of fallen stuff. We've had a lot of wind. So we've got a lot of fallen branches, but it's still pretty. I want to, uh, Eventually cut a lot of these low branches. But there's the truck. So cool. Just so cool, this thing. I think you guys saw this. Chevrolet, old Chevy, Apache. You can imagine somebody who lives in there, not human, but critters live in there over the winter. But it's buried. We can't even uh, open the door. Tires are gone. I don't know if there were ever tires, but we thought about getting rid of it, but you know what? I think we're just going to keep it. <laughs> it's kind of neat. Come on, Buggeroo! Yeah, critters, Miles. Come on, sweetie. Try to keep him away from that just because it might be broken glass. A couple of the windows are gone. I don't know what kind of tracks those are. It's beautiful through here. 
Well, we're gonna get head back because I get nervous being in here. By ourselves, right, Miles? All right, sweetie, let's head back. Walk in the field. Good my little funny dog. <laughs> yeah, one sweetie. Lots of sniffs. There's a creek down here. Might be floating, I don't know, if, or uh, flowing this time of year, but probably not. Not yet. It's still frozen, I think. It's not very active, but there's a little trickle that happens in the springtime. They say the farmers used to, uh, they use this as their uh, irrigation for um, their cows. So it's hand dug so that they could all get water. Let's go this way, sweetie. Helicopter. Sometimes they have helicopters that fly over, and I think they uh, they inventory the moose in the area. So they, it's like the MNR, the Ministry of Natural Resources, and they um, count how many moose they can spot from the helicopters. I guess to see how their population's doing, which is kind of interesting. We do get moose through here as we had in a earlier video. But uh, we've seen them cross over our property, but also the, especially the property to the north, we often get the moose walking through there. Maz, you wanna go to the old foundation, sweetie? I talked to him, but he can't hear a thing. But somehow I think he's telepathic. He can understand me in his mind. It's pretty incredible. He just knows. Very smart dog. Yeah, we'll see if the helicopter comes over us. Sometimes it goes right over us. Oh, these grasses are really long. Come on, Happy. morning but it looks like he's feeling better now oh there's the crow this crow I don't know if you can see it oh it just blew off that crow it's a family of crows 
that's hanging around. I think they were born here last year and they're back and they are squawking every morning just playing and frolicking. It's hilarious watching them. Oh there's the helicopter. There. It's flying right over us. I don't know if you can see it. Crazy. Anyway. Yeah. County moose, as far as I know. Oh, we call this the foundation pond. Not a very romantic name, but uh, Miles likes to swim in it when it melts. This used to be an old house here. Yeah. Still have part of the old concrete. Like this concrete's amazing. Look how rocky it is. <laughs> yeah. Our neighbor, it's even like a little garden. It's trying to grow moss on top. It's just amazing. It's kind of beautiful in its own way, so we just left it here. It'll stay. It's all part of the history. The old boards. Foundation. It was just a little wooden house. I have yet to find a photo of it, but I'm sure there's one that exists. What are you doing, silly? <laughs> You're having fun. Yeah. You gonna go out on the ice? Okay. Oh, don't fall in. Oh, you're so smart. You're not gonna do that. All right, good. I don't really feel like going in and trying to rescue you. But I would. I don't know what this kind of circular pattern is here. There's some kind of circular pattern and I wonder if this used to be the old well. We'd have to kind of dig under the grass to see if there's any kind of fill that happened there, but it's like a, it's like a divot in the earth. So I don't know if it was like a cellar or well. It seems like it was something at one point. Who knows? It looks like somebody's heading back home. I do think that we have a fox living under the barn. I'm not going to get too close just in case she's there. But she would be right in under there. Yeah, there was some disturbance there. A lot of disturbance in the spring and we were like, that's not a groundhog. Used to be a groundhog living under there, but we saw a fox lying out there right just in front of the door in the winter time and we see her prints quite a bit so I think she's there. She's probably just hanging out with her little ones. Hoping. We're gonna set up a camera and try not to disturb her. Especially with this little bugger. Yeah, you. Trouble. Come on baby. Go check out the garden. See if there's any garlic coming up. Might be a little early. I don't know, it's warm weather. So I've got the tarps on here to stop the weeds from growing, but they grow anyway. <laughs> but that's all right. We'll get it figured out. We also have uh, three apple trees. Additional apple trees coming this uh, spring that I ordered. We planted two last year. Actually, we've got a bunch of berry bushes and things. Oh, well, this one's got buds on it already. Look at that. See? I don't know if I could catch that with the camera. There's buds there. Cool. That is a Saskatoon berry bush. That's coming back, which is exciting. 
Those were just transplanted from, oh, this one has buds too. Neat. Uh, those were just transplanted from the back of the farm. And this is an apple tree that we uh, planted. Goes our neighbor. Yeah, it looks like it's, hopefully, it'll uh, grow this year. It's old corn from last year and some old sunflowers. I just let them go wild because, Miles, that's our compost pile that Miles loves. And you're not gonna eat that. Gross, get out of here. Move it. Come on. Uh, sorry, I was saying that I leave the uh, sunflowers so the birds can eat the seeds through the winter, and they do. This is a giant pile of compost that my lovely neighbor who just drove by, Gary, dropped off in the fall. That's uh, composted cattle manure, so I'm going to be adding that to the garden this year to add with fertility. I know this garden is very ambitious, but I love it, so we're going to give that a shot this year. And there's the barn that is still under construction. We'll get there. It's got a nice loft, so when you guys come to visit, there's a place to stay. Right, Happy? Come on, sweetie. Maybe you want some breakfast, Miles? What do you think? Maybe? You thinking about it? I see little hoppy things, so I think the bugs are coming out. Not the bad bugs, the good bugs. That's kind of exciting, that's a sign of spring. an eye on things out here. You ready to go in? You are? Yeah. All right, that's it for today.